Well there guys, this is a uh, HP Pavilion F1723. It's quite an old LCD monitor, but uh, I used to use it and it was, um, <clears throat> every time you tried to turn it on it would just flick on and off, which is a common capacitor problem in the power supply. So I've painstakingly taken it all apart, but I believe these are the culprits. That one there in particular. It's sort of bulged out of its um, shrink wrapped casing. So I'll try and change that. Okay, the caps are out. So the ones that have gone are C922 there and C923 there. I had to resort to filming this on my phone because the Raspberry Pi seems to have killed every single SD card for my camera. I decided to, um, I found these two new ones in the bag. There's three there. All 1000 UF, 16 volts, or 25 volts those ones, but I should know what these, the originals were 1000 UF, 16 volts. But yeah, I decided to keep the ones on the audio amplifier, just in case I did ever use it. Unlikely, but I might do. So I'll whack those back in and then put it all back together. I thought this was actually the perfect opportunity to show off a new multimeter. Mastec MS2108A. And it's, um, it's pretty good. It's uh, fairly reasonably priced as well. But it's got a capacitor tester function on it. I just thought I'd check out the uh, new and old caps. That's one of the new one. And that's measuring 1057 microfarads. And uh, that's just, I think that's about within tolerance. It's certainly good enough for this. I'm testing to uh, test one of the old ones. This is one of the old ones. 147 microfarads instead of a thousand. So that one is definitely gone. The one that was more bulged than this looked fine to me, but I'll replace both of them just to be sure. And this might just fix it. Okay, the new caps are in. I've got no doubt it was that, uh, that completely dodgy one that I checked on the meter that was causing the problem. So I'll pop this all back together. It's all back together, I think it's ready for a power up. Powers up perfectly first time. Result. That wasn't too much of a horrendous job either. I'll uh, pop the stand back on that and put it back up on the uh, monitor mount. Well, the only problem I've got now is uh, it's got stuck in a loop of keep auto adjusting, which is pretty annoying. Adjust buttons jammed in, that's why. Okay, not too much of a complex fix. Yeah, that's just jammed in. Huh. One more try. There we go, all fixed. Turns out I just um put the back screws in. Probably a bit too tight or the uh, the case had caught because I just took them out, checked the button again and it had um popped back into place, did them all up again, put it up. And that is it, fixed. That was a relatively easy and pain free fix. So all you need for that is two 1000 microfarad 25 volt or 16 volt capacitors preferably 105 degrees C rated at but mine were 95 degrees C as long as I get another like, year's use out of it I'm not too fussed so yeah that's how to fix the HP Pavilion F1723 well done HP you made something reasonably good for once